Infertility is far more common than most people think. About 7 million couples in the United States, or 12% of our reproductive age population, have problems achieving a pregnancy or experience complications of infertility. The truth is, is that hundreds of variables have to be in place in, pre in precisely the right order for conception to occur and for a woman's body to successfully carry a pregnancy for nine months. Overall, 85% of couples having regular and protected sex will achieve a pregnancy at the end of one year. This can be a very stressful time for patients though, and so we certainly try to handle patients who are experiencing problems with infertility in as kind, caring, and compassionate manner as we possibly can. There is no typical infertile patient. Lack of ovulation and sperm deficiency are the two most common reasons for infertility. Other common problems can be structural problems such as uterine fibroids or ovarian cysts. There's also the possibility of blockage of the fallopian tubes, either from scarring due to previous infections or endometriosis. Approximately 20% of infertility cases are unexplained. In other words, there is no identifiable cause for infertility. When we begin an evaluation for infertility, we always start with a careful history and physical, reviewing current medications, past medical problems, previous surgeries, and family history. After a careful physical examination, we frequently advise lab tests to assess ovarian function, pituitary function, and adrenal function. Pelvic ultrasound is also an important component to rule out a structural problem such as a fibroid. Semen analysis is also helpful to assess sperm motility and production. One third of identifiable causes of infertility are due to male factor infertility. One third are due to um, female factor infertility and one-third are a combination of both male and female factors. Again, 20% of infertility cases are unexplained. Usually, 85 to 90% of patients can be successfully treated for infertility with either medication or surgery or a combination of both. Only about 10 to 15% of patients have to move on to in vitro fertilization or other assisted reproductive technologies. If you have more questions regarding infertility, please contact your physician or call us at Lakeside Women's Hospital. Thank you.